Excellent. We are both recording. Uh, so Emily, whenever you're ready for the slate. You've never seen a library like that. So much marble, so many books, so quiet. And suddenly all of my confidence dribbled away with a pitiful plop. My head was beginning to spin and my forehead was covered with cold perspiration. I started to reach for a book and my hand automatically came to a stop. I don't know how long I stood frozen, a victim of panic and mortification. Oh, how I wanted to flee when a kindly voice, a gentle voice, whispered, pardon me. stood by my side and quietly said to me, ma'am, don't mean to intrude, but I was just wondering, are you in need of some help? I said no. Yes, I am. The next thing you know, Telling my troubles to Paul, whose tender brown eyes kept sending compassionate looks. A trip to the library has made a new girl of me, for suddenly I can see the magic of books. I have to admit, in the back of my mind, I was praying he wouldn't get fresh. And all of the while, I was wondering why an illiterate girl should attract him. Then all of a sudden, he said that I couldn't go wrong with the way of all flesh. Of course, it's a novel, but I didn't know her. I certainly wouldn't have smacked him. Well, he gave me a smile that I couldn't resist. And I knew at once how much I liked this optometrist. Optometrist. You know what this dear, sweet, slightly bespectacled gentleman said to me next? He said he could fix this problem of mine. I said, Optometrist, Paul. 